There is a new alert in the Pennsylvania area of the spotted lanternfly. It has the potential to greatly impact the great hops and logging industries. Here now to tell us more about it is arborist Eric Brito, and we thank you so much and welcome to the show. Thank you. Nice to be here. So give us a little bit about where we are here. There's a, walk us through this. Well, it's a, it's an insect that was recently discovered in Pennsylvania not too long ago, and Pennsylvania currently is under quarantine. So we are basically just putting an alert out to our metropolitan area to keep an eye out for this, uh, this insect that is, you know, can be potentially devastating to a lot of our vegetation, our trees, you know, a lot of our homegrown grapes and, you know, vegetables. So what has happened so far with this insect? Uh, it's, it feeds, it hosts, it multiplies, and it just spreads. Mm -hmm. And it spreads rapidly. Therefore, it's, in, it's important that we can, you know, identify it, uh, put it in check when we can, and just, you know, be aware that it, it can make, you know, a big effect on just destroying our trees and just our, med our vegetarian here in the city. Right. We've got so many trees and parks here in the, in the Bronx and the, a lot of care and concern. What do we know about this insect as regards to our area? Well, we know that it's still yet to be found, but that's why we're making the alert out. We want the, uh, the public and, you know, the community to keep an eye out. If uh, it is identified, you know, contact your, your local arborist and we would definitely go out and take a look and determine, you know, what the best steps would be to, to put on the check. Mm -hmm. So give us a little bit more about, can you describe the insect for us? Well, <clears throat> it is, it starts off in a, like a small little beetle type, it's black spots and then it uh turned into a red sort of beetle and then it it converts into a moth type looking actually really good looking moth mm -hmm. um grayish spots and then on the, on the body it has very unique pattern uh really bright red underwings it's about an inch long and it can not really fly it does more like leaps jumps mm -hmm. and it finds its, its host and it multiplies and feeds is there a time of year that we particularly have to be really concerned about this? Well, where we are right now, we're in the fall, which means that they are laying eggs, and they can lay eggs anywhere. You know, hard services, uh, cars, uh, stones, patios, anywhere, any, any surface that they can find, they will lay eggs. On hard surfaces. On hard surfaces. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now, it would be good to keep an eye out for it's, uh, an egg mass, like a grayish egg mass, a waxy surface. and. If it is found, destroy it. Destroy it, get rid of it. Not sure, always call an arborist. We'd go out there, scout, and take care of it. So when we go back to Pennsylvania, uh, let's talk about how bad it is for them out there. Uh, well, we know that it's, it's under quarantine. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's, you know, big alert is out, and you know, a lot of, uh, it's under control of movement of any wood. Uh, we wanna make sure that it doesn't spread and leave Pennsylvania any further than it needs to. So if there's if anybody finds anything, they're to contact you or you can contact me directly or your your local arborist, you know, mm -hmm. community. There's plenty of us. All righty. Eric, thank you so much for coming Not to share with us a little Pleasure. bit of this information. Great. All righty, listen, we are taking a break. We got more show. Stay with us. We're coming right back right after this.